Now joining me in studio to discuss Broome County Habitat for Humanity's upcoming Raising the Roof Gala, Executive Director and Fundraising Committee Chairwoman Latisha Judge and Katie Keith. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Hi, Hi. good, how are you? <laughs> good, good. So first off, tell me a little bit about um, Habitat for Humanity for people that might not know. So Habitat for Humanity is an international brand. Internationally, we build houses all over the world for disaster preparedness and also just to empower people to become homeowners locally in our community. Habitat for Humanity builds houses for our local community members, for low-income qualified families who are looking to become first-time home buyers. Okay, and how long have you guys been involved with Habitat for Humanity? I have been the executive director for coming up on two years. I've mm -hmm. been with the organization since August of 2022. Okay. Yes, and I've actually been a part of Habitat for Humanity for about two years coming up also. <laughs> okay, that's fun. That's fun. You guys came here together. Perfect. Anniversary twins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. So you guys are having your annual gala, but it's a little different this year. So tell us a little bit about that. So we're super excited to have this gala because it's a murder mystery themed. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be so much fun. We thought we'd change it up a little bit. And why not throw in a little fun while having dinner and having having drinks and just mingling with other people. So we're super excited to have this different themed event. Yeah, no, it's always nice to have a different theme because I've seen a lot of galas happening recently. I guess tis the season of galas. Yeah, tis the season. So tell me, you know, how the murder mystery theme is, like how that kind of goes in with dinner and drinks and dancing and all that. <laughs> Uh, well, I think for uh, we're, we're actually having um, professionals come in, and they're going to be getting dressed up, and they're going to mingle with the people that come to the event, and we just have to figure out who done it. And in mm -hmm. the midst of the the entire event, things will happen, and, uh, and clues will come out, and be very it's very interactive with everybody. So that just makes it a more uh, exciting event for people to come to, and mm -hmm. you know, actually feel like you're a participant participant and just you know having conversation but then at the same time you're also in the back of your mind who actually did it <laughs> mm -hmm. no that's awesome I feel like that's a great interactive way like you said and there will be prizes for the winner so whoever oh, gets closest right. to figuring out who who done it okay <laughs> can you give us a sneak peek of what the prizes are I can't I or actually I, I was asked by the okay. theater company if I wanted to be in the know if I wanted to be a participant and I said actually keep me in the dark I want to okay. see if my sleuthing skills are Good. Okay, okay, yeah. It's a okay, that's perfect. Uh, understandable. And so, so this is a fundraiser at the end of the day. Yes. How do funds raised go to help Habitat for Humanity? So I like to say every year, this is our biggest annual fundraiser. This event gives us the seed money to break ground for a new home. So, you know, we try to raise obviously as much as we can, but people underestimate just how much it costs to break ground. We dig a lot of our things. We build everything from stick ground and we have to excavate we have to lay the foundation so I think a lot of that kind of gets overlooked and that's what this fundraiser really is about raising the roof mm -hmm. <laughs> and how do you go about like choosing a family or where to build and things like that so our families are they come to us honestly we have an application on our website people can apply to become homeowners and then if they are credit worthy income qualified and they are low income considered by HUD housing guidelines we meet with them we see if they're interested in the home that we're building and if it's a good fit they partner with us and they start building as well okay interesting and do you guys have a specific fundraising goal in mind this year I don't know. Last year we hit like the twenty thousand mark. Yep. It'd be cool to go to go above that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always. Oh, yeah, and just shoot it's for always. more. Every, every, yeah, every year, just shoot for something shoot higher. For more. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's a great answer. <laughs> and then you guys have a little bit of a ticket price difference, I think, compared to how you buy it. Can you talk about that a little bit? So we encourage everyone to buy their tickets in advance. It just it guarantees that you're going to get in. We won't sell out, and exactly. you'll have space. So it is seventy five in advance. But if you do become a straggler last minute, <laughs> yeah. it's eighty dollars at the door. Okay. Yeah. And then where is this being held? This is going to be held at the Holiday Inn in downtown Binghamton. Okay. So it's going to be so so much fun. There's lots of space for parking, yes. uh, lots of space for mingling there as well. So um, it's very centrally located. And have you guys always picked this location? Has it been here in the past years? 
We tend to vacillate between the local hotels, whatever can hold our large group, but this year we feel really confident with um, the Holiday Inn and we're excited because we usually have a cocktail hour mm -hmm. and we're told by the theater company that the mystery begins right at cocktail hour. So okay. we'll be mixing, mingling, eating, and mm -hmm. trying to figure out who's going to get it next. <laughs> okay, no, perfect. And then, you know, other than the murder mystery theme, is there anything that people can expect this year compared to other years? Also, uh, we, well, every year at least we have our silent auctions that we have. So, um, I mean, we've, we are, we have been graciously donated um, by companies throughout the Southern Tier with um, things to make a basket with or just companies um, here, you know, here's a donation to, to help with your fundraising. So we definitely, we have that going on. Um, we have, we're doing a 50-50 raffle um, this, this year. So. Um, and a wine poll. And a wine Pull that is very right. Oh, what is that? <laughs> so uh, we we actually it sounds interesting. Like, I, I like it. <laughs> Board members brought in bottles of wine, which is very, very helpful and <laughs> yeah. very uh, needed as well. And uh, what we're going to be doing is, well, it's actually almost like a ring toss. So uh, we have rings, and if you get your ring on top of the wine bottle, then get the you get the bottle of wine. Or <laughs> okay. <liquor. laughs> okay. Are you allowed to stand like two inches away, or do you have to? <laughs> <laughs> We definitely need to, need to make it a little harder. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. If you come, we'll push you like a little closer. Okay, yeah, sounds good, sounds good, perfect. So how can people find more information on this event or to buy tickets? If you are interested in buying tickets, head right over to our website, Broom, broomhabitat.org. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the tickets are right under events. Or you could also come down and visit me at the office, and we can take credit card, check, cash right in the office as well. Okay, perfect. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for coming on today, and good luck at the gala. Thank you. And uh, good luck on your ring toss. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who might have missed those details, the Broome County Habitat for Humanity is hosting its annual gala, Raising the Roof, on Thursday, October 17th. This will take place at 5.30 p.m. at the Holiday Inn, downtown Binghamton. This year's event features a captivating whodunit murder mystery, all while raising crucial funds to build a new home for a low-income family. For more information, please visit Broome habitat.org slash events.